silly things. This first part is actually what I made first, um, but the quality for some reason on my phone when it was recording got a little janky here and there. Um, and then after that, I'm going to show you um, me creating a video of my second video of this. over this um, and I'm screen recording actually so I'll be pausing it every now and then but it's only like seven minutes long the whole video so it's not even that long but anyways here we go <laughs> the recording on this part is terrible because I'm holding the switch. I don't even know why I didn't just put it down like I did on the second video. But hey, that tunnel was pretty cool. Alright, see, look at that. Look at that. Nice, nice. <laughs> cool. What is going on there? Um, watch out for that door. We feel pretty slow right now. over it and then also with the Mario Kart I mean I guess I could turn off the music on it but when I was filming all this my brother had come home from school and then it was just kind of impossible to video without him talking or being allowed so I just decided to make it all silent Alright, cool, cool. <laughs> Three, four. Okay. What's next? Some plastic bottles. actually decided to use these as barriers, so I'm pretty obsessed with this game at the moment, and I'm just trying to do as many things as I can with the stuff I have around without having to like go out and buy extra things, but I would definitely rather use Velcro than tape. My idea for this course is there's only one sign for number one, one gate, and one gate, oh, here's a, uh, I mean, actually, back up real quick, pause, okay, so, my idea is there's only one number one gate, and then, if you're playing with, well, really, it can be with either person, right, so, when you play this game, you have to set up the course, so the game set up the course and you go through gate number one it starts when you go through gate number two three four and back to number one the course is finished and then you've finished how you want your course to be but I wanted to see if I could do two different um, ways to go so I've used duplicates of the two three four but only one 
you can use two gates, but every time you go through it, it's going to be another lap. So you can have seven laps, but if you have two number one gates, you're going to go through those laps really quick. So, um, but with the game, when you're trying to make your course, if I go through gate number one, two, three, four, and then I wanted to um, go through number two, three, four on the other side, and then go number one, it wouldn't work because it'll say um, that you're going through the wrong gate. Like, it'll still try to recognize it. It's not going to ignore it and say you've already been through two, three, four, and just ignore the next two, three, four. It'll say you're going through the wrong gate when you're trying to make the course. Um, and so it won't let you, and then I think there's like a problem, uh, well definitely if you make your course and the game will lay out a little track for you to see, and if you go off that track, the course is going to start looking really wonky. So for this video, I didn't even make a course, I'm just driving around in explore mode. But my idea was I wanted you to be able to choose which way do you want to go. And if you're playing with two people, it's really fun. Um, but yeah, you can do it, but um, you're just going to have to ignore the course lane lines and just remember where you have to go because that course is going to be going all over the place on your screen. Next thing I made is this nice little ramp, and uh, I've actually put on Reddit how I made these on the Mario Kart Live Circuit, Mario Kart Home Circuit Live <laughs> Reddit page. There's two of them, but it's the one that has the most. little hills as well so I'm gonna show you in case you know you're not sure how hills work <laughs> um, and then here's the whole course I changed up I definitely should have made the turns a lot wider but they're okay that weight pinch wasn't there, but it's not even mine. Here, I'm filming the actual scene, like the actual car. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm so glad I put those bumpers on my car. But those bottles don't hurt the car. But, like, these cars, you don't think they're going that fast, but when they hit stuff, that something like hard, like a wall, like they make a loud noise and they hit pretty hard, but when they hit you, it doesn't feel like, like a lot of force, but I'm just glad I put the uh, bumper on there. It does help a lot. So here we go, trying to catch all these scenes. And I think I did all this in under three hours. Like once I have an idea in my head, I, I can't stop. I'll, I won't even eat or drink. I'll just keep doing it until like I'll start getting a headache because I'm so hungry. But I think like if I stop, I'm just going to like lose all the things I'm thinking of in my head at the moment. So I'm trying to get these best turns all this work for like the actual videos like 30 seconds I think but it's so fun going over these ramps and um, you can go over them even at 50 cc but I put the tape on them because I want them to be bouncy because sometimes you can't be going too slow and 
doesn't give way to the weight of the car, then it won't be able to go over it. So I wanted it to have a chance to go over it, even if it's like going super slow. <laughs> it's like really fun, but it'll like throw you out of control. <laughs> Those chips are. Once you get used to the course, you can really drift through these parts. You just gotta take it sharp. And now this is the part with the uh, me filming switch and this time I actually set the switch up and took the joy cons off and then set my phone up to record it instead of just holding it <laughs> what happened there <laughs> and that's the worst part right there oh, oh. oh no that's the worst part is whenever you hit something a shelf or something, not a shelf, what am I trying to say, a dresser, and like, you'll get stuck under it, and it's actually scratched the top of my car, which was really upsetting, we'll just start here, can't believe I did that, but yeah, it's just really upsetting, but what can you do, I guess I could put like another foam piece on top, oh, it's a good idea. See, my car was stuck there. I had to go pull it out. Okay, so here's the real thing. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. All of it's put together. All right. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Go. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Take it off. Beautiful. It. And then here I'm going to be showing you uh, all of these in action. Actually, the ramps you're not really supposed to hit in that other course because they really like mess you up. But um, yeah, here I'm I'm going to demonstrate the ramps and the heel or the bumps. I call this one a bump. The other ones are the ramps and. Uh, I'm also going to show you how well the little foam piece does. And the foam piece was just like from a little heater that we bought. And inside the box, there was these foam pieces. Um, and it's the really soft foam, not like the white foam. And it's just held on by tape. <laughs> tape has become my best friend lately. So we're going over the hill there. This isn't going very fast, so there's not very, very very much space between each one. So it's showing you how fast you can go. And then here I'm hitting, like, you don't even really hear it when it hits. It's perfect. And I cut the edges, so if you hit at the edge, it'll slide you right off. And then here it is, doing all of them without stopping. So it works pretty well. from all the way on the other side of the room. Like, there's no stopping it. So, I think, is that it? Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching.
watching that. Um, I really like this game, but I know at some point I'm going to get tired of it because there's only so much you can do with it right now. side of the course and when you're driving it'll recognize it before you get there and then that enemy will be at that part of the course so you can customize where the enemies are and it would be cool if they made ramps because the arrow signs are actually the perfect angle for the ramps but they don't uh, have like the bounce like mine does so your car can go over it um, at even 50, 50 cc but I think it would be cool if they made ramps for us and made like the arrows showing them going up that there's an incline and I actually made a very long not very long but a pretty long ramp that goes up at an incline trying to see how far up the cart can go and uh that's also on that Reddit page, but it was, I didn't have that much material, and I'm pretty sure I could keep going up, but it would take up the whole living room, because if you go up at too uh, steep of an incline, the car's not going to make it, so it has to be a pretty, pretty steady incline. 